going to Angel and from Angel we're going to go to Islington. We'll walk around. Walk area. around the area. It's all about exploring Islington today. Angel, we're exploring Islington today. I think I said that when we're on the tube, but in case you couldn't hear me, we are exploring Islington. Islington is another spot in London that's very up and coming. It's got really cool, like, niche one off shops. I think it also has some chains, but the one off shops in Islington are meant to be incredible. I've been hearing such good things, so I'm really excited to explore. I've actually never explored Islington that much, and I haven't been for years, so really looking forward to this. Of course, we're going to take you along for the day, so if you want to see the shops in Islington in London this is a vlog for you I think there's a lot of really cool people around here as well I've just taken a picture of two girls um, for my street style Instagram account so if you didn't know I also do street style photography I think we're going to see a lot of people today who I can take their picture and yeah those pictures will be up on the scene on the street soon um, so if you want to follow that scene on the street street style photography account I'll link it in the description box below as well it's so cute around here. Look how this bike is tied up to this flower bed. That's really cute. I'm actually in the market for a bike at the moment. I really like this one. Have to keep hunting. How cool is Alan's outfit today? Got a Uniqlo shirt. Yeah. A Margaret Howe tote. Yep. Yeah. Gucci trousers. Yeah. Every time I try to show your shot, you're walking towards me. <laughs> and then common projects, which is very bright. I'll show you guys properly later. But the way these trousers flow is just beautiful. Oh, look at that. So first up on our little shopping agenda is this store called Hagen. I think it's like a lifestyle homeware kind of store. We'll go inside to see what it's like. Hi. This is really cute. It's such a cute selection of books. Look at these ones, 500 Hidden Secrets of London. This looks like a really good book. This one's really pretty as well. These are great coffee um, table books. So we popped into Annie's briefly. It's not really my kind of thing, but if you like, if you like vintage kind of costume dressing, it might be worth a visit. Yeah, this underwear shop is so sweet. It looks so nice in there. Like everything's laid out really nicely. It's just on Charlton Place if you're interested. Oh my gosh, look at that old Hovis advert. Oh yeah. That's so cool. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's like properly built into the, like painted into the wall. Let me take a picture. That Byron's so cool. Yeah. This really does feel like old London, doesn't it? With, with newer shops in it. This is such a good area to come and explore. We've been here for maybe half an hour now and I just love it. I don't know why I haven't come here sooner. Especially there's so many parts of London. Sometimes we go to the same places that we know we like, but exploring London is just a must. It's so nice around here. I was gonna say cute, but Alan said I've been using that word a lot today. It's the word of the day. I need a new word of the day. I should really like it here. It's got such a nice feel to it. Oh, where to next? Really good vibe, right? Really good vibe. There's a lot of really nice restaurants around here. If you wanted like a typical English pub lunch, this pub looks pretty good. Obviously I've not eaten there, but it looks like a nice little place to go eat. 
We're currently searching for Old Home Street Slice. Is kind of far. How far is it to walk to Old Street? 10 minutes? Home Slice Pizza is one of the best pizzas. If we don't make it to um to a oh, um, to, oh. <laughs> to Home Slice, we might go to Franco Manca. But we're looking to just grab a pizza and and go. But seriously guys, Home Slice is, is where it's at and it's on Old Street. Oh, it's so good. Okay, and I said home slice is the best, but these offer different things. I always forget how good Franco Manca is. The dough melts in your mouth. It's like Milanese pizza, where the dough is salty and soft and it just dissolves. It's incredible. So Camden Passage is the street where all of the little shops are on, in case you guys were wondering to get here. It's oh, this is in Clerkenwell. The Clerkenwell or Perkenwell? Clerkenwell, I think. We found this little passageway of all these old antique and vintage shops. They're all closed today. I reckon if you came back on a weekend they would be open. Just through here. Oh, this, this, this would be cool to see. Look, there's a picture of it before. Mm. I'm gonna pop into this place, Smug. It's actually really cool because it's got like the old shop writing on the top of it and then they've just put their logo on the window. I like that they're keeping the original of the shop alive. <laughs> Great today. I think so far Smug has been my favourite shop. The home pieces in there were so pretty. They had loads of plants as well, so if you're in London and you're looking for plants, it might be a good option. Um, I was really tempted to get a plant, but from buying plants now, I kind of know that the cheapest place to get them is home base. So I have to just keep an eye out there, but definitely want to expand my plant collection. But they had some really good ones in there. They had a rubber plant, which is one that we've already got at home. And they had some quite small rubber plants, so it would be easy for you to transport it around and then just like put it in a pot when you get home. These shops are all really small, so it's really hard to vlog in them, but what I'm going to do is in the description box, I'm going to put where we are, where we ate, and I'm also going to put a list of all the shops that I found and um, that we've been going in today that are meant to be really good around Islington and that we've been really enjoying today. And um, we're now going to Mary's Living and Giving Shop, which is a little bit of a walk away, only like three or four minutes, it's not too far. But the great thing about Mary's Living and Giving is a charity shop that's in a few different boroughs in London. And Mary basically set up these shops so that it will have kind of high end, like a mix of high end and high street. I'm on a main road now so it's going to be loud, but it's got a mix of high end and high street clothes and all the money goes to charity, which is great. So sometimes you can find really good pieces in there. I've seen Dior trousers in there before. Um, they have H&M and stuff as well but it's good to always kind of pop into a Mary's Living and Giving and have a look. It is on the higher price end of what a charity shop would be, but Mary curates everything that's in there, so it's usually all pretty good stuff. I read about this online actually. This is the screen. It's a really old cinema. I love the shape of it. It looks so retro. I think it doesn't matter where you go, exploring is great, but Alan and I kind of, we wrote down a list of the shops we wanted to go to, we went to them earlier, and on our way to Mary's Living and Giving, it's a bit further than I thought it would be, but we're walking very slowly and we're going in places on the way. It's so fun exploring new places, and I think for me I always feel that need to travel, but actually there's so many places in London that I can explore, so this is just really nice and also for me I find I get so much creative inspiration from going out on the streets and seeing new people, new places, new surroundings. I'm definitely getting that today. It's the perfect weather for it as well. We've been so lucky with the weather today and it's just generally just a really nice feeling in the area. This is a place definitely worth coming to visit. It's like it doesn't matter what street we go down, it just looks like London and I'm definitely getting those London loving feelings today for sure. Oh, it's got quite a while. Can you guys see? That's what it would have been like in there. But yeah, they're, they're closed for two hours, so we'll have to go on a. No bueno. We'll have to go on a stroll somewhere else. But definitely, Mary's Living and Giving is worth coming to if it is open when you're around. 
such a beautiful day. It is. Ah, oh, we got lucky. Finally, it's not raining on us. <laughs> Look at these houses. We've just been walking by them. I can't stop staring. They're so beautiful. Look at these. Oh my god, they're so nice. It's currently walking down St. John Street. You get a great view from here of the Chard. Check that out, that is a good view. Since I last updated you guys, which was a little while ago now, Alan and I are basically trying to find a magazine shop that he has heard about. He's heard it's really good and we've never been before. So we're making our way there, realise we're going the wrong way and then as we turn around to come back the right way, uh, some people asked us for directions. So we had a look on our map, sent them on their way, then we ended up having to chase them down the street because we realised we sent them the wrong way. So I don't know, if you see us out and about, ask for directions by all means, but maybe we, we definitely learn now we should always double check them because that was a bit awkward. thing is we could have just been like oopsie and then let them keep going but I felt too bad so I had to chase after them. <laughs> oh god. But they appreciated us telling them but it was just very awkward. I should try to hold the camera like this more often. Alan look at this. Because it's loud I always hold the camera like this mm -hmm. but should, I should do it like this. Yeah. You can see so much more of the street. Speaking of the street, this is pretty. Some more of those houses I love. Look at these shops. So cute. Something to mention in case you are planning a trip to London. We have a problem at the moment of people um, on bikes and mopeds stealing phones, even cameras. So I'm holding my camera tight at the moment and just being aware of my surroundings. But um, you don't need to be afraid, but it's just something to bear in mind if you're coming to London. Really, really be aware of your surroundings and your belongings as well. Oh, it's a shop made in Little France. Oh, this is like a beer shop. Oh, this is cool. There's another shop here. We're on, is it St. George's Road still? Um, and this one is called Dress for Less London. They have a website, london.com. Looks like a second-hand designer store. Take a look inside. see this through the window guys there's a gorgeous red Chanel suit it's 600 pounds but you get the full suit very expensive but absolutely stunning I would definitely pop back in there again they had a great selection of secondhand designer clothes it's like a consignment store they had um like I got a hair stuck on my nose but they had um, Alexander McQueen Vivian Westwood Chanel Gucci um, what else did they have Chloe so lots of options. They had loads of shoes in there as well. Gucci shoes, um, vintage and new. So that's definitely a good place to go into. We found the magazine shop. This is it, Mag Culture. Looks really good. Oh, this selection is so good. This might be the best magazine shop we've been in in London. I think because it's specific for magazines. But there's 99% lifestyle again. It's cool to see it popping up all over. This is good. We've seen these plaques a couple different places around Islington. So this is a plaque memorial for people who lived here but then died in different countries during the World War, the First World War. It's actually a really nice acknowledgement to those people. I haven't seen that anywhere else in London apart from Islington. I feel like this is the shortest vlog ever. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed seeing the streets of Islington and some of the shop recommendations. As I said, I'm going to put all the shops in the description box. It was hard to film in a lot of them because they are so small. But we had a great day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below where I should go and vlog next in London. I am up for exploring and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs> the
trying to show you St Paul's and Anne's getting in the shop. 